guys welcome back to youtube channel it's a girl fanny lungu back with another reaction video if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back thank you for 21,000 subscribers you guys are the best keep subscribing liking commenting sharing everything that you guys do i appreciate please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to just give me the name or the link down below and i'll be sure to check it out so today i'm going to be reacting to this video it's actually it's actually unrated responding to the person that um insulted or said something about islam so without wasting time let's get into the video so, come on. andrew tate's got god on his side oh, now there's god. no way brian would win that um although i would gladly blow myself over if i could take that with us um that's the use of a stereotype there which is obviously not what he uh i'm just saying if he really wants to prove it do, do the right thing <laughs> Let's see how it's a stereotype. Let, let's see how about that life you really are. As a True Jordy, somebody that's been given fame by KSI and Logan Paul because of YouTuber boxing events, sidemen podcasts, and his football commentary, has now decided to go rogue and assume that all Muslims are bombers. Not only is this factually incorrect, because in 2016 Obama dropped three bombs every hour. Navid Sheikh reports from zero to 2008, Christianity has resulted in 178 million deaths and. Muslims only 31 million. William Bloom has said that America has invaded 50 countries since World War II. So stop with the lecture mate. Not only is that sort of rhetoric wrong, but it's dangerous and irresponsible because of what we're seeing vigilante people doing worldwide. In Dover, New Zealand and in other countries as well. State Islamophobia is also in the rise in India, in France and in China. So Kyrie Irving and Kanye West were dropped by Nike and Adidas because of their anti-Semitism. What is going to happen to True Jordi? There's not many people in the world I have a personal beef with. I've had some internet beefs back and forth. There's very few people I personally dislike. One of them is True Jordy. Anyone who's followed me long enough understands why. He's a very insulting, fat, vulgar. He's a dickhead. He's an unlikable person. He's not very smart. He's stupid. He has his little girlfriend who sits next to him. And they did a video about me long ago where they were insulting a bunch of women who worked for me, calling them horrible names. He made full-grown women cry. I replied and said that's a horrible thing to do and he should apologize. He refused to apologize because he was full of hate. Turns out the man was full of hate because he ended up begging for d**ks off of a woman. The screenshots were leaked of him begging for d**ks, begging to suck on them, begging to be cheated on because he likes to be dominated by females. He sits there, fat, that's why he eats so much, to try and pretend he's bigger than he is. He sits there, fat, trying to convince the world it's muscle and that he's a tough guy. But truthfully, he begs to be dominated by females. So this person is genuinely a piece of And now, after me converting to Islam, he made a piece on one of his podcasts saying that I'm not true in my conversion and then insulted all Muslims. Then the Muslims blow themselves up and that I should go blow myself up. We should all blow ourselves up, make racist comments about, uh, about an entire religion as if that's somehow funny. Let me tell you something, my friend. And if true Jordy, if you're watching this, this is a message directly to you. There are certain times in life you need to know when to sh up. There are certain things which are not funny. Certain things that are not beyond reprisal. You don't sit and insult a man's religion. Just like you don't insult a man's entire company and the people who work for him. That's one thing. But to insult my religion and the religion of billions of people across the planet, making ignorant jokes about and blowing ourselves up, thinking that it's going to go without consequence, you're going to learn very quickly, my friend, that that was a mistake. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, brothers and sisters. So you guys have just seen this clip. By the way, I do apologize for any bad language in the clip. Um, you've just seen this clip of a famous YouTuber called True Geordie. And this YouTuber, when speaking and discussing the topic of Andrew Tate, he, um, of course, now we know Andrew Tate is a Muslim, right? So when discussing that topic, he chose to make a remark that I think it's safe to say all Muslims would find greatly offensive. And I mean, the guy with him, I don't know who he is, but the guy with him, he described that remark as a stereotype. I would even disagree with that, such a remark. You know, basically speaking about suicide bombings or Muslims blowing themselves up or Andrew blowing himself up to prove himself or whatever he said. That's not a stereotype because a stereotype in definition is something, a belief that is widely, widely held by people about a specific type of people, right? If you were to mention Muslim um, to your random person, you know, they're not going to think of blowing themselves up or people who blow themselves up, right? Um, 
So there's a couple points that I wanted to mention on this, and I don't want to make this longer than need, than it needs to be. Firstly, to all of the non-Muslims out there or people who may not ascribe themselves to the Islamic faith um, or are watching this video, there's something I want to mention. The media portrays Islam in a very specific way. It has portrayed Islam in a very specific way. And unfortunately, the way in which the media has portrayed Islam um, is not a true representation of what Islam actually is. And as a result of this negative portrayal of Islam, you have people like True Jordi, evidently, and others who have come out and, you know, they say controversial statements like this, offensive Islamophobic statements like this. And frankly, they are not held to account. Um, and it's quite sad, really. And it shows you a double standard where, you know, just recently Kanye West was cancelled um, and contracts were closed for him because of his comments towards people who are Jewish. And, I mean, I don't know the details of uh, that whole thing. I didn't keep too up to date with it. But the point is, he spoke about specific people in a way that many people felt he shouldn't have. The same thing is happening right now here with George, True Jordi. His account is not going to get taken down. I can tell you that right now. Okay, I would be surprised if that was to happen. Um, he'll probably face backlash for a few days and everyone will forget about it. The reality is, my, uh, my dear brothers and sisters in humanity, this is a big issue because when people make such sweeping comments like this, these type of comments actually end up dehumanizing Muslims. So when people think like this, when they see a Muslim woman woman walking down the street, my mother or my sister walking down the street wearing the Islamic headscarf, they just think to themselves, this is a suicide bomber. When they see Muslims walking down the street or they pass a Muslim area in London, they think this area is full of terrorists. And they just generalize and they think of Muslims in one specific way. And they stop thinking of Muslims as human beings. They stop thinking of Muslims as human beings. And they just reduce Islam to suicide bombings. So, I mean, this is something that um, I wanted to put out there. That people like True Jordi need to be much more careful with the way that they speak. Because they may not realize it, but when they speak in such a way, they are aiding in the portrayal and the, and the propagation of a narrative that is very, very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. And this is the type of narrative that gets innocent women attacked on the street by drunkards, by people who are literally ignorant people. This is the type of narrative that affects people's lives. And, you know, uh, subhanAllah, it's crazy. It's actually crazy that someone can make a statement like that. And, you know, we don't do anything. Um, no, we don't do anything meaning like, you know, there's no reaction to it. Right. And, and that's why I'm making this video. It's not okay for people to say stuff like that about other races, about other communities. Why is it okay? And this is a genuine question. And I'm actually, you know, I'm just going to leave this video here like this. Why is it okay? I want every non-Muslim watching this video to ask themselves a question. Why is it okay for people to make comments like that about Muslims? Why is that okay? Why has that become okay? If you are the video, don't forget to subscribe and subscribe. ولكي يصلك كل جديد اشترك الآن um, Very good points have been made in this video but let's start with the guy actually saying whatever thing he said from my point of view it's looking like he wanted that whatever he said about the bombing to, to land as a joke and people took offense with that you know understandable and um, I love how people are so calm when they are reacting to what he said. The two Muslims that have reacted to the other one was Ali Dawa come with whatever he said. This guy, 
come with whatever he's saying you know they're not responding with hate but i feel like in some way especially this guy is responding with love and that's why you should respond to someone who's going to say something else they've brought up um there were good points in this video like when Kanye said something about the Jews and the other guy, whatever his name is, they were cancelled for saying whatever they said. But then that's the opinion. Why are they getting cancelled? When Andrew Tate said whatever he said, it wasn't even about the Jews, he was cancelled. It's not it's not I don't feel like it's it's us who, who are cancelling these people. It's the people up there. It's the people up there that are cancelling these people and then the rest jump on the wagon. Because it doesn't make sense that someone can say something offensive about the Muslims, they don't get cancelled. Someone can say something offensive about black people, slavery, whatever it is, they never get cancelled. Yes, people are going to say, why are you saying this, why are you saying that? And that's it don't get cancelled this guy true jody whatever i doubt his youtube channel will go down highly highly doubt because i guess the odds are not in our favor whether we're black whether we're muslim whether we're whatever it is so it's like this world favors a certain group of people but the rest of the world can make jokes about everyone else and that's fine which is not fair which is very very far from fair it doesn't make sense at all at the end of the day what can we do i think just respond with love knowing that no one is going to whoever controls things up there is not going to ban their channel do anything to them the rest of the what we can do is just respond with love but then why are we so comfortable responding with love why is that the only response we're getting there's many people in this world government officials uh top television people that are saying all sorts of things that should be cancelled but then they haven't been cancelled because they don't they're not i don't even know it's really really sad that only one group is protected and the rest are not at the end of the day um i had already apologized which is very very fair learn to apologize when you know you've um angered your friends learn to make peace sometimes if especially if you've got a following don't say things that are going to harm another group that's not okay be a brother's keeper you don't have to watch them as they do that thing but say things that are positive in this world and sometimes how we respond to certain things says a lot about us not the group that we're talking about so maybe we should first check ourselves before we check the rest of the world let me know what you guys actually think um if there's anything you want me to react to let me know down below give me the name or the link and i'll be sure to check it out please like this video share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video